Let's take a moment to talk about multiplication. If someone were to approach you, let's say an alien, and ask what is multiplication, how would you describe it? Sometimes in multiplication, it's easiest to think of it in terms of groups. For example, let's take the expression three times five. We might think of this as three groups of five. So when we look at this multiplication sign, we can literally think of it as three groups of five. Now you might be thinking because of the commutative property of multiplication, five times three is mathematically equivalent to three times five. However, when you think of this in terms of a picture, three groups of five is actually very different looking than five groups of three. Think about this in terms of rows. We're saying three rows of five versus five rows of three. That's gonna look very different. Three is the number of groups, and five is how many are in each group. If we have something like A times B, we're thinking that there are A groups of B. Let's look at some common vocabulary terms that go with multiplication. In the case of three times five, which is the same as or equal to 15, we can label these parts of the equation with different vocabulary terms. Three and five in this case are what we call factors. 15 would be the product. The product is simply the answer to the multiplication problem. We can also think of this equal sign as saying it's the same as. So three groups of five or three times five is the same as 15. 15 being the product in this case. We can also think of this as three factors of five, three times five, three groups of five, and the product of three and five. These are all ways that we can talk about multiplication. I hope you found this video helpful for an introduction to multiplication and the vocabulary terms that we use.